Hello, you gorgeous and sexy creature. Welcome to Practice Intimacy. This is the place to be to learn all about love, sex, and how to have the best relationships you possibly can. So I wanna share with you an experience that I recently had. I went to a sacred sexuality play party. If you do not know what that is, <laughs> it is a place where people come together. It is usually uh, folks who are interested in like divine plus sexuality. So experiencing sex as part of creation in like a uh, awe-inspiring, a sacred, a spiritual way. And you might have some sex there. <laughs> you might end up having sex or watching some sex happen, all kinds of things. So that's what a sacred sex sexuality play party is. You come together to play with sex and to play with your body and energy and all of that. And it's super fun if you are interested in that kind of thing. I am sure if you're in any decently sized city, you can find it. If you are close to a major city, you can definitely find it. You just have to look. You just have to be open to discovering these areas of life because they're out there. So <laughs> I went to this play party and there were some ice breaking activities where we paired up or we got into groups of three and you share things about yourself. And one of the prompts that were given was share what makes you special. And when I had my turn to go and share what I think makes me special, I started with the truth. I actually don't think that anyone is special. <laughs> I don't. And let me explain why. That is the point of this video. I actually think that everyone, everyone is ordinary in the fact that we are all really, in the end, if you look at us, the same. We're made of the same stuff. We are um, built in the same bodies. We've got the same basic layout of brain. We have the same basic abilities. And there's gonna be some variety in that. Our brains are gonna be shaped a little bit differently and we'll have different abilities there. Our bodies are gonna be shaped a little bit differently and we'll have different abilities there. Our experience, our histories are going to be different. And so, yes, we're going to have different perspectives and personalities and ways of showing up in the world. However, I do genuinely believe that everyone is ordinary in the fact that we're all the same. Specialness. I have an issue with and the reason I have an issue with specialness is because I have found in my life in the work that I do as a therapist with clients that we tend to think that specialness is what makes us acceptable that being better in some way being special in some way is how you're going to get love how you're going to get acceptance how you're going to get ahead in this lifetime and I disagree I don't think specialness is the way I think that the ordinary things, the things that make us all the same are actually the way that we feel the most fulfilled, connect the most deeply. So think about it, like who do you connect with more? Do you connect with somebody who is doing something that you have no real basis for understanding? Or do you connect with someone where you're like, I feel that in my own body. I get their experience. They're speaking to my experience. Like those are the times whenever we're connected, when we're the same or at least similar enough that it's like, ah, oh, you're speaking to me. Thank you. And so <laughs> you might be thinking to yourself, but Jamie Lynn, there are people who are special. Think of Beyonce. She's so special. She's got all this talent. And you're right. She is super talented so are a ton of other women. There are a ton of women who are incredible singers, incredible artists, really beautiful to look at, and smart business people. And maybe they're using their talents for that. Maybe they're using their talents somewhere else. There are so many people out there who are Beyonce's and don't even know it. And so yes, while she has made an incredible life, true, I do not think that she is more special than another person. I don't, I really don't. And when you start to feel this, I promise it is gonna be so expansive for you. 
Stop chasing specialness as the way that you are going to get love and acceptance. Just stop doing that because it's not true. Come into acceptance by knowing that you are unique. Yes, totally unique, one of a kind, and ordinary in the fact that we are all, <laughs> we are all unique. We are all special in our own way. But don't chase specialness as this Thing to attain that makes you better than. That's really the issue I have. You heard me say it just now. We're ordinary and special, true, because we're similar and unique. But chasing something in order to make yourself better, it's just going to cause you pain. It really will. And instead, what you can do is come into deep love with who you are right now, knowing that you are unique knowing that you are still human, just like the rest of us, <laughs> and that you don't have to do anything to be loved. You don't. Think about a brand new baby coming into this world. Do they do anything to be loved? No, no, they do not. They can't even control their limbs yet, and they cannot control their bowel movements or their big emotions escaping them in order to tell people what's going on. Like. They haven't done anything to earn love or to be special. They just exist. And that is true for you. Your existence. Your existence is the thing that really, this is probably going to feel a little controversial, but it's the thing that gives you value. We don't always value things that are in existence, which is why I think we're killing this planet and our species. We don't value uh, existence in the way that I wish everyone did. Existence itself is valuable. And if we treated ourselves and each other that way, what a world we would live in. And so let go, truly let go of any part of you that is seeking to be special so that you get more and have more and are more, because that's not what matters. Just be you, be the unique, beautiful gift of existence that you are and love yourself for it and love other people for their beautiful, unique existence and just discover how much greater this world will feel, how much more loving, how much more beautiful. It's actually making me a little bit emotional right now. How much more intimacy there would be if we all experienced life that way. I am sending you so much love. Take care of yourself. And what else do I normally say at the end of these? I always forget. <laughs> like this video. Remember to subscribe. Please leave me comments. Tell me what you think about this. I really hope that this freed up space inside of you so that you don't have to chase something. And instead you can relax into being even a little bit more. I love you. I'll see you next time.